Today I'm going to show you how to assemble a crossover for DIY sound group kits that feature an included circuit board. Specifically the Fusion 12 Tempest, though the ideas I'll show here apply to any of the other kits that include circuit boards. To assemble your crossover board you want to make sure you have a few things. First, all the parts you need for your kit. A uh, few zip ties to hold the larger items like the inductors down to the board. A pair of pliers and cutter, and of course the soldering iron and solder. You also want adhesive to hold some of the parts down to the board. Uh, I'm using hot glue because it's quick and easy. One of the first steps you want to take is to dry fit all the parts onto the board before gluing. This will allow you to make sure they're all in the right positions and the leads are all in the right holes, and also that the leads are adjusted so that you're not fighting with them uh, with the glue already on the components. Once you see that all the parts fit in the correct positions, you can go ahead and start applying the glue to the components and uh, gluing them down to the board. Once you have all the parts glued down to the board, you can use the zip ties on the inductors to hold them in place. Before you start soldering, you want to check that your woofer inductor wire leads are not protruding through the board too far to the insulation, insulated portion of the wire. You only want the tinned portion of the wire uh, through the holes on the bottom of the board. If the, tin, if the insulated portion is sticking through, the solder will not adhere to it and you'll have a bad connection. When you go to solder, you want to make sure to apply pressure with your iron to both the pad on the board and the wire itself at the same time. This allows them to both heat up and the solder to flow to both uh, giving you a reliable connection. Once you have soldered all the connections, you can go ahead and cut off the excess leads from the components.
once you're finished soldering the components down to the board, you can insert and solder the wires for the input and outputs. Once those are done, your crossover is ready to be installed.